Today you're gonna learn how to separate objects from the background, create a realistic water reflection, and color grade your photo. Hey there, my name is Ali. The photos we're gonna use and the brushes are gonna be linked in the description below. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna drag the photo or I'll start by creating a new document. I'll go 3000 by 3700 and then I'm gonna reduce the image size. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so the video goes fast. Okay, I'll drag my first photo. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay, now looking good. It's time to drag the second photo. I'm gonna drag it in a separate layer. I'm gonna show you uh, like a very fast technique to separate this from the background. I'm gonna check the channels, the one with the most contrast. It's the blue. I'm gonna right click duplicate channel. We have another duplicate of the channel. I'm gonna open this one and close the other one. Then I'm gonna press Ctrl M to open the curves. I'm gonna make the dark points much darker and the bright points brighter. Darks darker, brights brighter. Okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna take the brush with the white color. Just paint over the black areas that you do not want. This is easier than using like a pen tool or the lasso tool. And once you're done, I'm gonna press this one. It gave me the selection. Now I'm gonna open every one again. Instead of the blue one, I'm gonna erase it. And then I'm gonna go back to my layers. Press Ctrl J. Okay, it gave me the opposite. So first, I'm gonna add layer masks. You, as you see, it gives me the opposite. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl I to invert it. Now I have the selection. I'm gonna pull it to my main image. Then I'm gonna flip it horizontal. Uh, okay, apply layer mask. Adjust its size and everything. Something like that is good. Okay, we have this water down. I don't like it, so I'm gonna add a layer mask. Then using a black brush, soft brush, I'm just gonna erase the lower parts here and there. One more thing I want to try to do, I want to try to get rid of this rock, it's a bit distracting. So I'm on the main layer, I'm just gonna press Ctrl J to have another copy of it, make sure it's rasterized. I have this copy in case if I mess up things, I'm gonna, I'm leaving like a copy of it. Okay, now I'm gonna clone stamp away this rock. Okay, now it's looking good. It's time to add the reflection. I'm just gonna copy this one by holding Alt, then apply layer mask, then Control T, right click, flip vertical, and just move it down until it's matching. You can press Control, hold Control while in free transform, just to make sure the reflection is going perfect. Then I'm gonna darken this one a little bit. And change the blending mode to hard light or maybe overlay or maybe just normal and lower the opacity. I just like to try and see the best one. This one is best. 
Then I'm gonna add layer mask and then I have to erase it from here because this is a rock, we don't have reflection on rocks. So I'm just gonna erase the reflection from this area. Okay. And what else? Okay, the I'm gonna apply layer mask. And then I need to give this one a little bit of wave look. So I'm gonna use the smudge tool. Just take a normal brush and just pull it down till it's something like that. I have this one here. And just move it left and right while holding click just to give a variation. Just like the like it's the waves are making like a jitter effect for the reflection. Okay, good, very subtle because this lake doesn't have a lot of like waves. And then I'm gonna group these two together. Okay, now we have this. Okay, now I'm gonna add a new layer. I need to like play around with the sky. The sky is too boring. I'm gonna take a brush. Let me sample this color, something like that, maybe brighter a little bit. Go to overlay and start painting some of the color here and there. Some here as well because of the reflection and lower the opacity, of course, if it's too strong. Then let's add another layer. Let's go something deeper, red, more saturated, a bit darker and make sure it's an overlay and start painting as well something like that that's too strong but it's okay you can always lower down the opacity in the end okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stand on top of this layer and i'm just gonna take one of the cloud brushes i have then i'm just gonna sample a color from here and then press a click Sample another color, another click, then play around. All these brushes, you can find them. And just like add some clouds, then I'm going to do another layer. That's too strong, something like that. I'm trying to add like some sort of variation with the clouds. Okay, we have these two now. Let's try overlay. Doesn't look good. The normal is the best, but then just lower the opacity. And I need to give them color. I'm gonna press Ctrl U. Then press on colorize. Make sure they are in the orange sector. And a little bit saturation, maybe even brighter. And on the other one, I'm going to do the same. Colorize, make sure they are yellow-orange. And this one, I'm going to make it much brighter, something like that. Okay, I'm going to lower their opacity even a little bit more. And I'm going to take the dodge tool. Make sure I'm on highlights. And I'm just going to add some highlights to these clouds. I believe some of them are too dark. Or oh, just some highlights here and there. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to do more color adjustments. I'm going to add a new layer, but this time I'm going to use a dark blue. Something like that. Make sure it's an overlay. Then I'm going to use my gradient. Make sure you're on the first one and make sure you're on the color to transparent. And make sure you have the transparency on. And now if I pull from here to there, I'm just adding some blue here. This adds some sort of variation of color to the image, so it's not like only orange. It's okay if I go too strong with it. I can always press Ctrl T, pull it down left to move it like down to the left and reduce the opacity. If I believe it's too dark, I'll just go to adjustments, brightness contrast and just brighten it up a little bit. So this is what it did, still too strong of an effect. I'm just going to lower the opacity. Okay, something like that is really good. Okay, let's add another layer. Let's start adding some light with a normal brush. 
Oh, that's too strong and too yellow. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the orange. Still too yellow. A little bit more and I'll just make it less bright, something like that. Okay, this one I'm gonna try overlay and screen. Okay, I'll do both. I'll do 50% of screen or maybe 40%. Then I'm gonna press Ctrl J to have another copy and this one overlay. Because I like both, but together both are too strong. Okay. Now I'm gonna, I'm done with the compositing. I'm gonna color grade everything. I'll go to curves. I take the black point, pull it up. It feeds everything, but then I take the shadows and start pulling them down and take my highlights and pull, make the highlights like even brighter. This is if you go too bright, but this is of course not nice. Here, make it just a little bit brighter. Something like that is good. And I'm gonna go to a gradient map to color the whole thing together. I'll just start with anyone. This one, for example, and I'm going to change the blue, the blue in shadows. I want something like bluish cyan here in the shadows. And then in the midtones, I need something that's like magenta blue, something like that. Or maybe I'll stick to blue first. Then I'm going to hold alt to add another point. This one is going to move like to the yellow orange yellow then orange then i'm gonna go to something red bright red then the final point is gonna be very bright like reddish purple color so now we have like our color grid let's see how it's gonna look like when you change it to soft light and lower the opacity to something like 14-15%. This is the effect. I believe it's darkening. So I'll just go to the dark points. Brighten them up a little bit. Okay. So now I hope it's not darkening. It's only coloring. Okay, now it's good. And then I'm going to also go to the curves adjustment layer or just brightness and contrast doesn't really matter. I'm going to increase the brightness. And I'm going to press Ctrl I. Now it's invisible. I'll take a brush, make sure it's white. Now whenever I paint, I'm going to bring back the brightness up. So I'm just going to paint where the light is. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm going to press Ctrl J. Now I have a duplicate, then I'm going to press Ctrl I, now I have the opposite. But then I need to open this one and make it the opposite. So now I darkened the opposite of the parts we brightened up. Okay, one last thing is hold Ctrl Alt Shift then press E. This merges everything into a new separate layer so we can go to filter, camera row filter. And first thing, I like to go to the FX module. You can either dehaze the photo or haze it. I'll go with a little bit with the dehaze. I like how it looks. And I'm gonna add some vignette. Then I'm gonna go to the basic. Then the clarity, I'm gonna reduce the clarity, make it like much softer and press okay. Again, I'm gonna jump to camera row filter. I'm gonna pick the radial filter. Now I'm only having clarity and contrast and sharpness. This is, I use it when I want the eyes to be attracted to a certain point. So I'm drawing a circle around this one to make it sharper and more clear and press OK. You see now it's much clearer than before. Then I'm gonna go to camera row filter. I'll try to play around with the colors a little bit. I like to do zoom out when it comes to colors. And let's move this one. This one, if you move it like to the left, it makes all the blues cyan and all the reds, yellows to like pure red. If you move it, it gives you the opposite purple and extreme yellow. So I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left. I want this one. I believe it's too like yellowish. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, the saturation, sorry. And this one, um, 
no, no, try this one and that one. This one is good. Something like that. Okay. The before and the after. I just like desaturated a little bit of this orange we had here. And the final thing I'm going to do is I want this photo to look a little bit softer. I'm going to add a new layer. Then I'm going to take a brush. And I'm just going to use a very low flow and very low opacity. And this technique, like, it blends everything together. So when you hold Alt and you press click, you're sampling a color. Let's say this one. Now I'm going to paint with this color here. You see, I'm painting. Control Z to go back. I'm painting with this color. Then I'm going to sample color from here, paint. Sample color from here and paint. Sample color and paint. This blends everything together. It's like you're mixing all the colors of the photo together. <clears throat> I do this and I'll show you the before and after. It's a little bit hard to understand what I'm doing, but you'll see it once it's done. Okay, now I'm going to show you, you see, when I close this one and open it, you see everything now is much blended together, but then I'll just like lower the opacity, something like that, just a very subtle effect. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Thank you.